Hey everyone, this is Mary, and you are watching another little piece of my art, and I thought I would take the time to do this while my dog is napping. Hopefully she doesn't hear my voice and come running and attack us, but no guarantees. Um, okay, so I wanted to flip through this book, Sacred Angels. I have had this book in my closet for since the pandemic. Um, I remember ordering it from thrift books at the time. And they sent me two, so I have an extra one, which I'm going to give away. Um, and I'll explain all that at the end. So, um, but anyway, um, this is Sacred Angels Coloring Experiences for the Mystical and the Magical. Illustrations by Lydia Hess. Um, this book is made by Harper Elixir, and it was originally $9.99. Um... Now, they have, I have to move you a little bit, sorry. She has also, I think, I believe, like a spirit animal or sacred animal, same type of vibe one. And I have that somewhere. I don't know if I've ever colored in it, but I do have it because I love animal books. Um, and then she also has an astrology one, and I'm not sure if I still have that one. I remember getting it. And then my mom asked me to color um, her star sign out of it and give it to her. So I did that and she still has that framed on her dresser. And I don't know if I ever used it since then. Um, but I just decided to pick it up the other day because I do really love and have a fascination with angels. Um, and I don't think um, if you're not Christian, I don't think this will be bothersome to you because... Uh, they have used the interpretation or the word angel kind of loosely here. If I had a complaint, my only complaint would be that there's not an angel on every page. Um, there's one on every other page. Let me see if I can see how many pages are in here. You know, they should start numbering pages. That'd be so helpful. I know I don't see... Um, but I'm going to guess, you know, probably around 40, 50 pages, something like that. So, um, I, uh, here's the front page and I decided to, I should have just tested it here. Um, but they are one sided. So that's nice. And I, I decided to do this angel here. I did very little pencil on it cause, um, I'm kind of trying to save like my, my intensive detail type of work for other books sometimes I just want to like just color something in you know so in fact like this blue like uh blue color here is highlighter the orange color is a child's crayola the big fat ones the big fat markers um, but I did put some stickles and stuff on her. Well, anyway, the point is I thoroughly enjoyed doing this picture. This paper is nice paper. Nice paper. For some reason, I had it in my mind when I did my mom's picture out of the astrology book that I didn't like the paper. And I think it was because I tried to put prisms directly on it and they did not like it. So, um... Yeah, you might want to do a base of something else if you're going to try, you know, try pencils in here. Or if not, markers will work because, you know, it's one-sided. So, like, the, and it gives you a word. So, that's the Angel of Eternity, apparently, because this, I'm assuming, you know, moves around and around. Um, and then these are the heavens. And, you know, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't have... A lot of mojo coming up for me to want to color that like I don't have a lot of um, ideas for it I mean you could obviously make it a dark sky because that's what it would be but so I don't know I just don't know if I skipped ahead is my point <laughs> um, we have Angel Michael Archangel um, who you know fights our battles um, so that's a really cool one. Um, and then kindness. This just looks like a mandala that you would see in a Celtic uh, not workbook. But, you know, I mean, it's not bad or anything like that. I, I'm just saying that 
um i like the, the way she draws people a lot i like that a lot and then i wish that every page was a person so um here's angel gabriel and this is a blessing mandala i guess um oh let's see these pages are not um hold on let me look up close these pages are not perforated and they are sewn in the book so nicely made um here's archangel raphael renewal uh this one is cool i like the fish i think this will be interesting to color um, I'm going to try paints on them. This little heart sanctuary is so pretty and delicate. I'll probably save that for Valentine's Day. Um, and then we have the angel, archangel. J, 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 uh, I can't say that. Sorry. I, don't, I can't remember if the J is silent or not. And if it is, I don't know how to say that. So, yeah, that. <laughs> Um, we have purity here. The mandalas are not difficult. I've done one in the back, which you will see. Um, here we have Uriel. Angel Uriel. Um, and then here we have a mandala that supposedly means mercy. Um, and then we have... So now we're going into like gods and goddesses i guess psyche and cupid still really pretty right i think this one this one will come out really nice and you can use your alcohol markers for the skin tones if you are like me and feel like you'll mess them up if you just go straight in with pencil i like to layer mine um here's another one you could do at valentine's day this one is grace and of course we have love i'm assuming that's little cupid his bow and arrow um and then we have devotion that's really pretty i enjoy that one um intimacy intimacy connection another nice one hope you can see okay destiny so this is i don't know what Maslow's zodiac angel means but oh i can see the zodiac wheel here i did not realize ever that there was an angel associated with that but okay so that's what i mean if you're not a christian um you won't i i don't think you'll be like offended or, or feel like you can't use this book joy so here's some more little cupids so a lot of these are you know the, uh, so the reason why i want to do the giveaway is because um i feel like it's for this time of the year we have the angels we, so you know there's a lot about gratitude when i think of that and um thanksgiving time and um of course christmas coming up and then you can use this book clear into Valentine's because it has a lot of little hearts and things in there. So, Harmony, very, very pretty picture there. Tenderness, I like it, I like it. Um, you know, eh, it'll be a fast one. <laughs> this one's just called Delight. <clears throat> this one is beautiful beautiful this would be more of a fall one you know with harvest but you could do anything anytime you want but look at how those sunflowers look they're going to pop off the page when you add your yellows and things and then you have the the um the wheat making the whatever you call that thing archway divinity peace very cute very simple and the paper you know like i said is good it's substantial paper but it also has you know it's it's combination of being markery and good for pencils so there's a little i can feel a little tooth to it especially when i rub the back 
Um, so we will grab your pencils. Serenity. Amity. Prosperity. That's a nice one to do for the new year, right? Hopefully that we all bring in some prosperity into our lives. Passion, another good one for Valentine's Day. Um, vitality. Vitality. I need that right now. I think I'm getting ready to go through another bout of kidney stones because I'm having a terrible back pain. Uh, okay, so this is the favorite favorite picture for me in here and um this is of course the frida angel which i'm sure frida made it to heaven so <laughs> she probably is an angel in some form or another i guess um but this one is called clarity and i'm sure if you're an artist here on on youtube you have some sort of appreciation for frida i mean most of us do most of us do so I really want to save this one for last because it's my very favorite one in this book and I hope I don't mess it up. Perhaps I will have uh, my friend copy it for me. So in case I don't. And I love this one, you know, being in Florida and stuff like that. You know, there's sea themed, sea -themed things everywhere I go around here, including my own home. So... I love her. I think that this one's going to be a good time. Um, super pretty. Uh, this is the one I did, Transcendence. Um, and as you can see, there's, you know, there's some gel pen on there. But I, I didn't go in with shading. I could have shaded all over these uh, brush marker bits. But I just wanted to relax and enjoy myself. So, um, yeah, I, I'm just going to do that. And if I want to go back, I can. Um, then we have Intuition. Intuition. So she's also some kind of sea creature here in the water. Also love her. Um, and then we have Unity. Unity. So she's like one with the outside. And then we have Hope. A Hope Mandala. I don't believe that's it. Let me see. Yep, that's it. The end. So, um, really cute book. Um, like I said, I had it in there for the longest time. Thought of getting rid of it a bunch of times. And then as I'm going through books to try to take things apart to um, start giving away in little packets that I want to do for giveaways... Uh, so I can get my collection down to more um, manageable. I mean, I don't have that many, not nothing like I used to have. I have two shelves, two bookshelves, or two, you know, rows, not two separate shelves with coloring books in them. And I still find that to be a little bit much because there's probably at least a third of them that I, I just never pick up. Um... So I'm going through and looking at things closer and that's when I saw this and decided, well, let me color a page before I decide if I'm never going to want to use it. And now I've decided I like it. So that's my copy. This is going to be your copy. Nice, flat, brand new. Um, oh, I have to move again. I'm so sorry. My back is killing me. Ugh. Um, so my, my usual things disclaimers you must be in the u.s i'm really sorry once again i can't afford to sh ship internationally right now hopefully someday when my channel is bigger if that ever happens which i'm kind of close to giving up because i don't think it ever will um but if that ever happens one day i will ship internationally or gift uh cards to people in other places but right now it's just going to be the u.s uh, so I'm going to keep the giveaway open through the month of November because here we are at the fifth. Happy birthday, dad. Uh, here we are at the fifth and you know, I want I wanted to circulate a little bit because my last one I had to 
kind of close out quickly because the holiday was coming up. So this one, you know, obviously you can use throughout the winter season or basically whenever the heck you want. Um, so yeah, we'll keep it open through the month of November. I'll check back here um, at the right after Thanksgiving and I'll let you know the drawing date. It'll probably be, you know, like a couple of days after Thanksgiving, I'm thinking. Um, I'll definitely put it on my community tab when I decide to do the drawing, um, so that, you know, you can tune in, but if you don't, if you miss it, it's okay. I will wait on you to contact me. Um, but yeah, you have to be subscribed to my channel. You have to live in the U.S. And, um, hey, why don't you tell me, since we're on the subject of angels, why don't you tell me, like, something that you're thankful for? I know that's pretty kind of like I don't know overused but it, it is that time of year and it's nice to focus on positive things once in a while so yeah so tell me that in the comments and um you know how we do I will give you a number once I receive your comment and then I uh, will keep track of that number until it's time to draw and then I will let you know so thanks for watching everyone and good luck bye